Hi guys, let's look at the next question. The next question is question number four. It says in a malaria epidemic, the number of cases diagnosed were as follows. Uh, the date is given 1st to 12th July and then number of uh, cases are given. So on what days do the mode, the upper and the lower quartiles appear? Now mode, which is the easiest one to calculate, mode will be the one with the maximum frequency. So on which day do the maximum number of cases occur? And then this is the date, which is this one, right? So maximum number of cases, which is 46, occurs on 5th of July. So then modal is equal to July 5. Perfect. Next is upper quartile. Now for calculating upper quartile, which is basically what is the total number of data points? So let's uh, check the total number of data points. So let me just add all of them up, which means 5, 7, 14, 20, 21, 29, 30, 35, 36. 6 with 3, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. Let me just recheck. That's 17, 37, 57, 64, 110, 140, 171, 1, 89, 199, 200, 206. Perfect. So it's 206. I will need the cumulative frequency, which is 5, 17, 37, 50, 764. This will be 110, 140, 171, 189, 200, 205, 205, and 206. So my upper quartile is 3 into n by 4th term which is equal to 3 into 206 upon 4th term which is equal to 4.1 which is 153 and a half 154.5th term. Okay, so let's look at where 155th term comes. 155th term will come here after 144 and between 144 and 171. So my upper quartile happens on 7th of July. The next part. The next part is uh, lower, quart lower quartile. So lower quartile. Lower quartile is equal to Q1, which is n by fourth term, which is be 206 upon fourth term, which is 51.5th term. Let's figure out where 51.5 occurs. Well, this is where it occurs. After 37, between 37 and 64, which is equal to July 4. Perfect. So let's move on and let's solve the next question the next question that we solve is question number 20 are we missing out all on the other questions no we are not but I just want to solve this question because it will be easier for me to make the video accordingly so let's look at question number 20 the mean of the following numbers is 68 find the value of X and hence estimate the median so let's Check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. N is 9, mean is 68. Find X and find median. So I know mean is equal to summation summation X upon summation F. In this case, 45 plus 52. So let's add uh, 9, 15, 21, 28, 30, 38, 4, 70 plus 5, 11, 20, 22, 27, and the number is 9. Let's check it again. 5, 11, 20, 22, 27, 7 to carry over 2, 6, 11, 17, 23, 30, 32, 40, 49. Perfect. My answer is correct. 497, right? So 497 upon 9. So let's do the uh, calculation 497 upon 9 oh but there is an x as well 
plus x my mistake so there is an x as well so it's 497 plus x upon 9 this is equal to 68 so 68 into 9 is equal to 497 plus x that's 540 and 72 so that's 612 signs of 54 540 and 72 that's 612 minus 497 is equal to x which means x will be equal to 115 perfect what is the units given mean of the following number so there are no units so this is x is equal to 115 next is find the median so now i will have to arrange it in ascending or descending i prefer ascending so let me start i hope you remember i prefer to cancel out whatever i have taken so 26 next is 45 next is 52 next is 60 then 69 then 70 then 81 then 94 and then the last is x which is 115 perfect so i have put it in uh, ascending order n is 9 so median is equal to n is 9 which is odd so 9 plus 1 upon 2th term which is the fifth term which is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 which is equal to 69 therefore median is equal to 69 perfect let's move on and let's solve the last question of this exercise which is question number 23 now this is not the last question that i will be solving with you this is just the last question from this exercise so i have scanned the question here and i have put it here it says the histogram below represents the score obtained by 25 students in mathematics mental test frame of frequency distribution table so a frequency distribution table obviously will have a class interval in this case it's marks and number of students right, which is frequency so in this question what i've already done is uh, since this is the class interval is given as 0 to 10 10 to 20 i have already written the class intervals now let's check the frequency so for the first one it's 2 the next one it is 5 the next one it is 8 the next one is 4 and the last one is 6 perfect frame of frequency distribution table done part 2 calculate mean part 3 determine modal class modal class simple this is the tallest tower or this is the one with the maximum frequency so my modal class is 20 to 30 students not marks students perfect now let's look at mean i hope you remember how to calculate mean when the data is in the group form first we'll need the class mark so the class mark is add them divide by 2 this is 5 15 25 35 and 45 let's check what my uh, summation f is this is 10 20 and 25 this is what was given in the question so my calculation is correct next is fx we multiply f and x which is 2 into 5 10 15 into 5 75 25 into 8 200 4 into 35 120 with 15 135 6 with 45 that's 240 and 30 that's 270 let's check 5 uh, 10 75 200 120 sorry yeah 120 140 not 135 140 see i'm happy that i checked this is 140 4 into 3 120 that's 1 yeah, 140 perfect and 45 into 6 is 270 so let's add 0, 0, 0, 5. this is 11 18 19 1 carry 1 3 4 6 let's check it again 270 370 410 610 620 695 perfect so mean will be equal to summation fx upon summation f in this case 695 upon 25 so 25 into 2 is 50 that's 19 195 that's 25 into 7 will be 175 
or let's yeah point eight let's do it five 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 one five three five nine and this will be five one five two is a ten thirty nine five seven is a thirty five twenty seven point eight so mean is mean uh, is twenty seven point eight marks perfect thank you so much i'll see you in the next video thanks bye bye